Rollinsford Select Board meeting. Our first order of business this evening is uh, to swear in our new officer, which uh, he's new to those of us sitting up here, but I suspect people sitting in the audience <laughs> may have met him before, unless you just came to listen to us drone on today. So, Mitchell, where are you? You come on up here and we will swear you in. And um, I'm going to come around here so they can get all the pictures they want to get. And then Mrs. Knowles is going to present you with your badge. <laughs> so, off to your report. So, why don't you stand? We're going to get a good picture. Right there. Okay, you're going to be good there? Okay. So, I'm wear my glasses. I'm sorry. So, if you'll raise your right hand. I need to. Every turn just to the Perfect. Off to your report. Okay. So, you're going to. Say I and then your name and then repeat after me, okay? I, I Mitchell Brooks, do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially, I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties, discharge the duties, discharge and perform all duties, discharge and perform all duties, incumbent upon me, incumbent upon me as a police officer, as a police officer, and I will comply, and I will comply with the Constitution of, with the Constitution of the United States of America, the United States of America, the Constitution and laws, the Constitution and laws. Of the state of New Hampshire, the, state of New Hampshire. the laws and ordinances of the town of Rollinsford, the laws and ordinances of the town of Rollinsford. You're in good company. <laughs> and the rules and regulations, <laughs> and the rules and regulations of the Rollinsford Police Department, the Rollinsford Police Department, and the law enforcement code of ethics, and the law enforcement code of ethics. And that I will discharge, and that I will discharge the duties of my office, the duties of my office, as a Rollinsford Police Officer, the Rollinsford Police Officer, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chief, do you want to say something? Yeah, if we could have the have you stand with the three select board members. You don't mind? Typically we have more room. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. And do you want to say anything, Chief? Or? No, other than that we're, we're glad to have uh, Mitchell on board. Um, I've had the, the pleasure of spending some time with him the last couple of weeks almost on a daily basis, and uh, I think he's going to do us pretty well. We're very ha happy to have him on board. Congratulations. Thanks, Mom. Sure. Uh, yeah. 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 Of the construction of the, of the road before we can issue a building permit. 
Yeah. So he submitted a permit application for lot one. Okay. Um, even though it's going through the planning board for a revision in the subdivision, right. that area, lot one, remains unchanged. So I discussed it with Caroline, and we figured that that one permit could be issued. However, that can't be issued prior to receiving this. Okay. So this is a form um, other municipalities use, a change it for a town of Rollinsford. Um, okay. <clears throat> it involves nothing on the town's um, benefit except, um, except for monitoring it. We'll have uh, the developer contact Jay Stevens to establish the amount okay. and, and send this to the bank and to the developer. They fill it out, it's all in their letterhead, they sign it. It has nothing to do with, with um, town money. Uh, all we do is we hold on to it. I mean, we don't hold on to the money. We bank hold on to the money. Um, and any requests come in written, <coughs> written form for any disbursements. If, you know, we don't want a nickel and dime out. Like, we're not going right. to say it's okay. They planted one tree, so we'll give them back 100 bucks. I mean, right. So this is our protection plan to make sure they actually do what's on the plan, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. My only caution on this is that we make sure that the um, expiry date is a good amount of time because yeah. it costs them money every time they yes. have to move it. I'm yeah. very familiar with letter of credits, and yes. okay. that's one thing that you have to make sure is yeah. the dollar amount I is enough have, and uh, the expiration date. Yeah. It's saying three months after after the final yeah. approval date, so mm -hmm. I hope that's going to be enough. We can extend it. We can make it longer. If you're, uh, well, I'm just saying it, it costs them more money to, to have it revised. So, yeah. the, the whoever's applying for this. So, I mean, yeah. if they think it's going to be enough, do do they have they looked at this? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, they think it's going to be enough? Yeah. Well, I haven't discussed the whole thing, but I mean, the okay. banker is familiar with it, as is the developer. Okay. Jay Stevens is going out to quantify, or if he hasn't already, he's going to quantify the road value Great. Mm -hmm. for this. Okay. So but they have three months after after this letter is issued, or the actual plan was approved by the planning board. Um, three months prior to the expiration date. So I believe it's this letter should expire, but it said on. Let me see where it said. Oh, it said um, insert a date three months after the completion date. Yeah. So. And three uh, months. Prior to the expiration right. date. So the offsite, so. onsite improvements require something completed by, and then that's something either the town or the developer accepts. So it's it's on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so they're going to accept the date they think will be done by. Right. Okay. So then it's not. Well, mine problem, is right? mine was more with foreign countries when I was dealing with it, so sure. it's a little different. But uh, sure. just one. But that was one thing we always ran into with states. Okay. So. Yeah. Good point. But, but this is on them, right? So well, yeah. they'll, it's their expense. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if they put the wrong okay. dates, yeah. I, mean, I guess it could be weather issues or whatever, mm -hmm. but that, again, that's their kind of yeah. their, mm -hmm. it's the risk they take, I guess. So. Right. But again, this is more of an insurance policy for us to make sure that exactly. the work actually gets done. Yeah. So exactly. it's important that it gets issued. So. so are you looking for approval to, to issue the letter? I'm or? just making sure that, that you folks are comfortable with it. I did put you guys in as signatories, but it is purely administrative function. I mean, if you'd rather the town administrator sign it, it might be... You know, just take stuff off your plate, but either way, I think um, I think at this point it probably should be the select board sure. signs it. Um, and so, Tom, for clarity, this is just a sample letter going to the bank, and the bank is going to revise it and add, you know, all the information yes. and submit it to the board. Yes. For so this is no more actually signing signing. Right. right. Yeah. That's just to let you know the, what the bank is working I'm with. I'm fine with it. Denise, are you okay with it? Yep. Miles, are you okay with it? I'm good with it, yep. Okay. Go forth and issue a letter. Will do. Anything else for us? I, um, I don't have an agenda, so... Oh, that's, that's, that's the only thing we have on here for you. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> that's all that's I don't right. know if you had anything else for us. I know that I, the, the, the uh, Summersworth Road project is, or issue is, is moving along for the process. Yes, yeah, they submitted an application for the zoning board. Um, I had to have a conversation with the attorney for Mr. Castanelli, because he submitted an, um, <clears throat> two applications. The one in the PF Administrative Decision was right. I, personally, I don't think it's is required, and then the variance, right? So, um, if he decides to go forward with both, they could be on the same agenda the same sure. evening. But um, 
other than that, I'm getting with the uh, owner of 112 Ronald's Road to do a walkthrough. Um, I can't think of anything else that was outstanding. I don't. Um, I think that was it. Yes. So, the, can we go back to the um, junkyard? Somehow it got connected. Because, is it because of the, how long it was allowed to go on? Is that why they're saying that? It, that's I, that's the attorney's argument. Yeah. Okay. But but if it's a zoning violation, it really is a violation every day. So, the, in my opinion, and, and past experience, past the time is irrelevant. They don't get to say you didn't catch us before now, so we mm -hmm. we get to keep it. I mean, they they can say that certainly, but that's not. Um, uh, a valid argument. It's because we can say, fine, it's a violation today, and just, you know, start the whole thing. Okay. And do they take in consideration the activity, the police activity that had to go there for so many times? Is that part of what the zoning and planning um, will consider? It's not really a part of the zoning, in the zoning ordinance. However, it's certainly information that we can submit to the zoning board for that consideration. Okay. I mean, if it's, if it's, you know, if it's loud and, and unruly and the police have to spend an enormous amount of time there. Yeah. I think once they get scheduled, then we would want the police and the, and, and, and the building inspector both there. Sure. The oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Letting the zoning board know what the activities that have yeah. happened. Yeah. Okay. But then also, once it goes to planning, they can put conditions on... Sure. Exactly. You know, exactly. Because you're right. Once, if it goes by the zoning board, then it does it with the plan or so. Yeah. Yeah. There could be conditions, and I think one of them certainly should be the nine to, or eight to five right. hours that were imposed on the junkyard mm -hmm. should also apply to the uh, towing facility. Right? Okay. All right. That makes sense. And there also will be part of the nuisance law, having an um, ordinance, right? I mean, that. Well, if it passes, it's it's right. the residences, I believe. I think it's only residences. I believe the language of that is residences. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I Seriously? Where do we fail that? <laughs> well, it's in the uh, it's in the housing standards ordinance, which okay. really deals with with residences. I mean, I, if it's a nuisance, I'm sure the police could deal with it. I, I don't think we we'll necessarily need that ordinance, right? Well, what was the thing that I can, can I ask Bob a question? Sure. What was the thing that you signed that you um, submitted to us that? In, Posed a fee for new. It, that it doesn't was a revision. Count, that's only for residents? Yeah, to go up to landlords. Absentee landlords, I think. And so. landlords? <coughs> yeah. Hmm. yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. They can get on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there anything else for talking? No, I mean, that's what you think No, I guess you're, you're free. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. You're very welcome. Thanks. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Fire's not Thank here, you. right? Thank you. 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 We're going to have to go into non-public to you. She's okay. All right. Uh, Jordan, aren't you coming up? <coughs> I think we'll get through you quickly. You don't have any POs in your hands. You're going to be even quicker. Not yet. Not yet. Because I hit him so hard, I didn't see him. Oh, because it's here. We got a little weather coming tomorrow night, I understand. Hopefully the truck will be back tomorrow with the classroom and it will actually be the least expensive from Oh good. Okay. Okay. Sure it's it's nice, but it's specially made, so okay. What's that? it has been to <laughs> Well, yeah, it can't just oh, yeah. it's not like they use it, yeah. just make your own fuel on so bent away this was the short one. Sure. So that's probably good. And uh, so they just corrode it through and fuel They found a rushed a fuel I guess. Okay. So then, is that why they were just losing power? Or? Yeah, it was losing That can't be a, that can't be something that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with this type I mean, of vehicle. We, and we had to refuse salt. it. We had to refuse it. Uh, we placed the transmission lines last year, if mm -hmm. you remember, right? right. And the salt, the salt needs them away. I mean, I mean, it's going to happen just right. because of those, the type of yep. what it does. So, so least, e least expensive. What, what's the yeah. well? The most expensive would have been a fuel injector pump. And yeah. Stuff like that. yeah. What, what's the ballpark then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know how much time they spent on the truck researching it. And so, but it's. I mean, if you could an injector pump, would have probably been in the thousands. Okay. I'm hoping we're not even near there. Right. Right. And this is at mix. Is that where it is? Mix. It's at mix. Yeah.
Uh, it, I, Mr. Jolin's background check came back okay. Is it okay to bring him on? We, didn't we, we voted on Didn't we vote to give me hiring contingent upon Is background check? Was that someone different? It's, it's the same, but I'm not sure that you did. So I just wanted to get permission to I don't believe have his background so. check. We, we thought we did, did but do we have his uh, application in? Yeah, I've already brought in yes. your attention. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah. So we have the application. I have the application. Right. application. Right. What's his phone name? Norman Jolin. Yeah, we right. had talked about it. Yes, I, I come in and talk about it. The background, yeah. pending the background check. Yeah. Uh, I'll move that we offer. Um, he's, ready, he's, he's, been quite, he's been coming quite frequently to check and see if he could be hired. We finally get the background check. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll make a motion to hire. Um, Norman Jolin for the transfer station. Hardy spoke on my Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to hire Mr. Jolin as a transfer station attendant. Um, uh, he, he understands the hours and everything. Okay. All those in favor? Or anyone have anything to say? Sorry. Um, just that um, if you could also be authorized to sign um, an offer of letter for him, everybody should have a piece of paper in the file. Um, I have an amendment to. Um, your, your, your motion so I can come in and sign Drummond. So the amendment is what, I'm sorry? Um, to also authorize um, Mr. Rollo to sign a, okay. an offer yes. letter. And so yes, I'll offer that amendment to authorize uh, the chair to sign the offer letter. I'll second it. Okay, so it's been, a m original motion has been amended. Is there any other discussion? To allow me to come in during the week and sign this? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> all right, so. To let Mr. Jolin know he's hired. He's good to go. Whatever he needs to So we have a couple of things on here. One's a place well, one's a placeholder. Um, the anti-freeze oil collection. We're still trying to gather information. More information on it. Not, not so. It's not on your end. It's on our end now. It's it's seeing if we can find a um, a local auto body shop that will partner with us so people can bring it down. We're not interested in doing out of town transfer station. I don't believe, right? Okay, so that's just a placeholder for us, George. Um, we have transfer station fee waiver request. Um, there was um, a family on what, a, Karis. a Karis drive that had a, uh, some sort of backup into their basement, and they were requesting, I think it was an email that was sent to us, uh, requesting um, a waiver of the transfer station fees to get rid of the demolition. I have no problem with that, but if they have homeowners insurance, that should be covered. I would imagine, right? Um, and it's not, in my understanding, it wasn't, it's not the fault of, excuse me, it wasn't the fault of the town, right? So. Well, it's, it has nothing to do with the town, but right. the water sewer That's what I'm saying, it wasn't the fault of, correct, yes. of, the, of the town. So, so just to, <clears throat> because I work in insurance, it, sewage backup is usually an additional rider, so they might not be covered. Okay. They kick here or there. Right. And it's just, it's, can I make a comment? Of course. Um, I think if we do, it's going to set a precedent. And anything that happens in anybody's cellar or house, it could come in and say, this one did it. And I think we just have to, hopefully they have insurance and it can be covered, but I think that we right. should be careful about setting a precedent going forward. Have, but to have no idea. There's, there's no extenuating circumstances we don't know about that. Theory. It's, it's an accident. It was not the homeowner's fault, but it was also not the district's fault. It was just an incident, a very unfortunate incident. Okay. So are, are folks unwilling to, to waive the fee? I've got one yes uh, to give a sense of precedent. What do you uh, I, I feel... I'm, I'm a no. That's what I mean, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm saying it backwards, yeah. sorry. Um, I'm on the same page as you, what, oh, you're, what you're saying. I'm just explaining it wrong. So. Yeah, I, I feel similarly that it's a, an, an accident that doesn't involve the municipality. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think we should. Okay, that's what I was asking. There's no extenuating circumstances. The family that we that we don't, so we just aren't aware of or something. Okay, then I don't know why we would waive the why we would waive the fee then. I mean, that's the. The point of having the fee is to dispose of demolition, I mean, whether you want it to be funnel or not. I mean, mm. that's the point of having it, right? So, because it's going to cost the town money. But it wasn't the town's fault, and there's yeah. no 
set of circumstances that we're aware of where they couldn't afford to pay the fees. But I guess that's what I was asking. They they would probably say that they couldn't afford them. I I don't I don't know. Okay. Well, barring any other requests or evidence from them, I think we'll, we'll deny the request. So. All right. So, and the only other thing is transfer station attendant position, but we took that up first. So I think you're free, George. Unless you have anything for us. Nope. I'll have more info on the truck as soon as I get it. Well, good luck tomorrow, or day or night, or whenever the snow finally starts coming. But we're ready, no matter what happens. Right. Thank you. Good luck. As long as you stay together, we'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> we all hope for that, George. So, all right. All right. thank you very good much. Night. Have a great night. night. Yep. Chief, come on up. Do you have anything else for us besides the... Uh... I do. Okay. First out of gender, I have two dance and entertainment licenses. All right. That we have, we'll issue, but it needs to be the board's signature. One is the Dover Bowl and one is the American Legion. And these are yearly licenses for them. So folks are unaware of to operate certain to have a dance and entertainment license the applicants need to come to the select board and, or to the police and, and get a, a license issued by the select board and the, and the police department so authorizing them to hold dances and other things of entertainment the dover bowl at one place and the, and the legion is the other except because the legion is a function hall and they they would have a, all different kinds of activities so oh, it's not for them yeah. to do it but it's for them their business to be able to do it yeah it's, it's, not, it's not they may too but, but yeah yeah okay is there any, do they have to do these down at the mill? Because there's like dances and things that happen down there, I guess. Yeah. Well, We're not aware of any public dances down well, there. Well, that's a studio. And that's concerts and studio. things. But, but, and concerts, but, yeah. The, the, the big thing I, uh, I'd be worried about is if alcohol's involved, then they should be getting a, a permit from the town. And they don't sell it, I'm aware of. So, do they, they yeah. bring their so own to the matter? They're doing a room bar or something like that. Sure. They have no, I'm not worried What's about the other place? But it's open to the general public. Yeah, it's it's not going to be okay. I've never been there. I, when I lived in the village, I could hear it for sure. No. And on Front Street, the cafe there, whatever it's called, the Black Bean, used to have concerts there all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, night, yeah. But anyways. Okay. Is there any objection to me signing either license to Dover Bowl or the Legion? No. All right. I'll sign it. Your uh, um, extra duty down there, if they do have one, if it's open to the public? It's supposed to, but uh, they had a couple down there now that did not let us know that they were down there. Uh, Happy in those days. So. We had a chat. <laughs> what, the Legion? Yeah. Uh, okay, purchase order number 1582 to Pro Technologies. That's our alarm company. Uh, we have the annual alarm monitoring fee for the town hall, $239.40, and the annual alarm monitoring fee for the town highway shed for $239.40, for a grand total of $478.80. I'll move purchase order 1582 to Pro Technologies in the amount of $478.80 for uh, alarm monitoring. Second. All right, purchase order. 1582 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? So that's the fee for the whole year? Yes. Wow. Okay. That's great. For the town hall and the highway. Why is the highway alarmed? Why is the building itself alarmed? Yeah. I think there was a lot of expensive machinery kept in there. There's a fire department and they're not alarmed. Uh -huh. no, no, we tried to get it. Probably for everyone a lot of years ago. But, uh, okay. Okay. Once the new highway department was built, we determined because there were a lot of thefts. We had an arson down there in the Highland Transfer Station. We determined mm -hmm. that uh, since it's now on site, out of mind, yeah. it should have an alarm just in case. Mm -hmm. so. Not opposed to it. I'm just saying, why is the fire station being alarmed? But it probably should be. I've been recommending for a number of years that that and the school should have a per school should have a alarm, but you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> They've certainly had a yeah, break. Right. Right. Not at the fire department, but the school has. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Any other discussion of purchase order 1582? Seeing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? All right. And 
the reason I did the PO window is not my department because they come to me. So. Townsend Energy, number, purchase order number 1583. Uh, two weeks ago, we had uh, them down to the station to repair the uh, heating system. Um, somewhere between the boiler and the lobby, there was an issue with the pipes. And so we had no heat in the lobby. And it was down to about 50, 51 degrees in the lobby there during that really cold snap. Mm -hmm. um, so to make the repairs, they charged $362.32. And that would come out of town hall maintenance. Why not? This is going to be downstairs. This is in the police department. Okay. Okay. Motion to um, accept purchase order 1583 for Townsend Energy for a total of 362.32 for repair of the heating system. Second that. Purchase order 1583 has been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? So we're um, back up and running on that list? The time we are, yes. Okay. Doing saga of the boiler, I guess, huh? <laughs> all right. So all those in favor of purchase order 1583 say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I might have some, some news on the boiler. <laughs> sure, why not? Speaking with the, the service tech and the uh, salesperson who actually came and looked at the unit, they, they said there should be no reason why that boiler should not last another year or 20 anyway. Okay. So, it's passing that along. All right. Yeah. Well, that's not what they've told us in the past, though, right? Well, again, in the past, it was, it was a different tech. Um, we had a more seasoned tech to look at it, okay. as well as the salesperson that provided the quotes and said, yeah, we should be able to get another year or two out of it. Right. And I know there was a question uh, from a from resident um, for the quotes for the, the two boilers that were submitted. Mm -hmm. um, was Townsend aware of the fact of the lack of insulation and will those new units meet the needs of the building as is? And the answer is yes. The last purchase order number, 1584, the generator connection. Um, they're coming this week, or, yeah, this week, to do a minor preventative maintenance check on the generator per our two year contract, and that is $240. Okay. I'll move purchase order 1584 to generator connection, $240 for uh, preventative maintenance. Second. In reviewing a service contract that does expire in March of this year, I called them today to see if they were going to be submitting another one uh, very soon, and they said that they would be. Okay. They already had it in the queue to print it and send it. For the generator? For the generator, yes. Perfect. To stay on top of that for sure. Um, the last time that I have for you folks is um, I need to wear about the, the lights in the front have gone out again above the steps. Okay. And our light um, above the, uh, the two garage doors has gone out. Okay. And the light that we have at the back door is very dim. Okay. Um, what's happened? The, 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 the lenses are now, the units are so old that the lenses are actually colored, so you're actually getting an orange light instead of a white light out there. So what I've done is I've contacted Mr. Electric and um, m and Electric just to give us a quote on replacing those units with LED white lights, similar to what you have at the post office. Right. So, um, you know, every time we replace a external bulb, we're paying over $6 per bulb, and we're spending a ton of money replacing these bulbs all the time because they're really not meant to be on as, as much as they are. Right. And the bulbs for the police station, the garage door, and one of the back door, those are like $20 bulbs, because it's a special special type of bulb. So I think in the long run, if we have the money to replace everything with LED, in the long run, money, in the long run we'll save some money. And we'll have right, right. Right, a light mm -hmm. on the building. Mm -hmm. that more energy efficient. So. so the bulbs just went out because the bulbs got old, is that right? Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not the unit, it's just the bulbs. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> but the, the casing of the bulb goes in it, so old and discovered, it's emitting an orange light, you said now? So yeah. For the one that's out back. Yeah. Yeah. The one out back, I know, yeah. we have the same thing, but I know what the bulb is out now. So, so I think rather than going on spending you know, $20 for another bulb, for both the front and back, let's see what cost replace everything first and determine if that's really mm. 
more econ economical way to go. You don't have a supply of bolts. We do for the uh, the regular floodlight screw ones. Yeah. For, the, for the big ones, we don't. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'd rather use those at first. If so. you had ten of them, I think you'd have a point where I'd replace them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, all right. Anything else? Before well, the floodlights we could use upstairs. Sure. We have a couple of floodlights inside, so those oh. will be used okay. inside. We can use them outside. Right. That's all that I have for you folks. Okay. So we have a non. Uh, public session for a personnel issue. Motion. motion to go into non public personnel issue. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Um, the roll call to me. Yes. Final? Yes. Mike, yes. We're non public session to deal with the personnel issue. And down. Uh, Thank you. All right. Moving right. We got what we're talking about. Take notes. I'll be right here. We're almost at the right one. Right. Okay. But don't you think it should be? I'll try it after. Are we, uh, are we good to go? Yeah. All righty. All right, I'm glad we lost where I am. Town administration. Town meeting. The select board report for the town report. I shared it all with you uh, late morning, early afternoon. I think it was late morning. I don't remember, to be honest. I didn't see it this afternoon, but... Yeah, it, it, well, the distinct, distinct possibility that I didn't share it the right way, didn't no, So let's just make sure I oh, did. Oh, no, I just was... No, no, I'm, it, it, real distinct possibility that I didn't do it oh, right, no, so... No, no. I did receive it. You did? I did it right, okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> I just didn't see it. I mean, That's fine. I, I usually get out between 1.30ish. So... The but board, it could be my work. The board is not meeting next week. Um, this needs to get to the printer, so it doesn't need to get approved tonight, but I would say if you all could just have a look at it and pass along any revisions, okay. maybe by the end of the week. Sure. It came through at 11, 111. Did you, did you see it? I, I saw the email. I didn't. You didn't read it? I didn't. Okay. I, I, then I will do it first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's, if that's okay with you all, and then yeah, yeah. I mean it's our report, so it's okay. okay. It's just a draft, so if people have things to add, or if you think that it shouldn't be phrased that way, or whatever, mm -hmm. feel free. There's no no pride of office up there. So. All right, so we have <laughs> more. Next is the CIP worksheet. A few miles, you have finished. Yeah, the out years took um, a stab at this, and um, taking so I, I probably should have um, made notes on the changes I made. That's okay. No idea now. Um, honestly, taking the, so the radios got removed from the fire department, so that gave us sixty five thousand dollars of flexibility that I applied. Um, to where's it? Oh, so ten thousand dollars worth of flexibility because ten, ten was coming from CIP. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. Um. Okay, that looks right. Um. Oh, so also, um, this reflects things as they stand right now. So none of the warrant articles have been approved. Mm -hmm. The the things that we. You know, like the, the dump truck still right. has the money in CIP. Um, but basically, um, put money in CIP for the forestry vehicle. Um, this year and next year, so that we'll have the whole thing um, next year. 
if we move forward with that. And then also the articulated motor. So shuffled some some money there. Um, the one sort of um, big change that I made um, was the LED street lights. Um, and this, uh, on the first section, general government administration, uh, priority number nine. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so start putting some money away for that in, in 2020. Right. Um, and, and at least have some sort of plan. Um, so yeah, my, my goal in this was to, to even out the exactly the exactly. bottom number yep. to around two hundred thousand. It gets higher in twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. Um, that's a lot of that is the streetlights, but um, I, I came in last Tuesday to Caroline and I Caroline and I said um, one thing that. If, if in whatever year, 2023, we decide we're going to buy these streetlights, the energy savings that year can be, we, don't, we wouldn't have to necessarily reserve as much because we would save money starting immediately. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So the point is, though, I'm trying to find one previous yeah. version of it, is that you're, you're trying to spread the, um, the, uh, the amount spent or, or needed yep. uh, to over the course of 10 years so there's not these wild ranges, right? You'll try to keep the tax rate as stable as possible, or be a, at least if you the CIP portion of it, right? So there's not these wild swings. And it looks like from, so this is a previous version of it, this is your version of the that you've done that. I mean, that's what you've done. I mean, you've tried to keep it as stable as possible. You also so. made changes to the Quonset hut. I don't remember. Yes. Um, so we didn't have any numbers in there at all um, for those Quonset huts. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, right. So 10,000 under 2019, mm -hmm. 20,000 next year. Mm -hmm. um, to get those. I mean, it looks very similar. I mean, there are some some years where it's gone up, but not yeah. what I would um, characterize as, as significant compared to what. So it's, it's just a road map. Yes, this is a road map. Um, okay. The fire engine replacement. There were no numbers. I don't. I don't. So it was just added this year. Oh, okay. So as I well started, as Plaza. some of the right, things yeah, that were that just was, added. That's why. Yep, yeah. No, totally okay. understand. Um, so I s added, at least to start mm -hmm. reserving. Exactly. Um, That's the whole point, is to start. That was the point. I think that, bottom line, they weren't getting it, that they had to think 10 years or 15 right. years yeah. out no, to, to um, under, you know, so when they got the new fire truck last year, they started, should have started planning for yeah. that, one of the other old ones replaced in another ten, five to 10 years. years. You know, I mean, right. that's why... I was trying to drill them in that you need to start thinking long term. And it doesn't mean that you have to um, put all the money aside, but at least start a little bit on yep. each of these. And it um, should be on the schedule. It should be on the schedule. So you you know? start planning for these things. And so that's why there were so many things that were added this year without any numbers on it because okay. we were try trying to say you've got to think of the long term. And, you know, and, and this might change. They might say that, you know, the, the air pack filling station, you know, takes precedent over the uh, stabilizing front ramp, you know, you know, and that's yep. their right to do that. Um, if they find that this is a far more important thing or, or, or any of the departments, but at least it's putting money as, aside for these big projects that just kill us if we don't have it in CIP, you know. Yep. So. All right, well, let's get to any miles. Do we need a, uh, a vote to adopt this? I mean, it, it's a, we've already voted, for, the numbers that matter the most is 2019. Right. And so that's what's gone forward to, to be voted on in, uh, in March. And this is, again, this is just a guideline, a roadmap mm -hmm. of what we think savings should look like over the next 10 years. Um, 
10 years now, but um, it will be extended out after yeah, 20, 2019 will fall off, 2020 beyond, then you're going to go up to, to 2030. I mean, it's yep. that's the whole point. It's a ever-evolving, I hate it, it, keep calling it a cliche, but it is a roadmap as to what we think the spending needs to look like, and the state right of the savings needs to look like to, if we were to um, complete projects in the years where the department heads are suggesting they may need to be done. That doesn't mean that you're going to do them that year. Mm -hmm. This is your your planning document that you you will you will use to determine what the um, what the next uh, warrant will look like, mm -hmm. or the next uh, proposed budget to go on the warrant looks like. Mm -hmm. And you know the next year's select board, or not next year, in March after the next select board is elected, it will doesn't mean that it won't change. Yeah. Right. Or, or in two years, or three years, Go with different or, priorities. I mean, different boards have different priorities, so it's a or planning different tool. Different department heads can have it. Most in, definitely. In a year Most down definitely. the road, with changing a department, it could be right. a priority. So what I would like is a, a motion to accept this as uh, our, our 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 working document, a revised working document, so we can place it on the town website so people can see it. It looks like it's ready for me. Is this just one? I see the, the fire department no longer has a number one priority, so if we just renumber those. Renumber them? Mm -hmm. Yep, again, the, um, And oh. the transfer doesn't have any. The, the, the Unless it is the way it is. It has no priorities. Well, you've got. Well, it seems like. It's, they're saying for 2020 and 2021, so I would say that yeah, we need the Swans would, have, would be their number one, yeah. and the Skid Loader would be their number two, and then and then that compactors and yeah. four, depending so on the year. I mean, the, so completely upside down, in other words. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it is. But we can sort it accordingly to be one, two, three. That's true. Too. And again, people need to understand that shifting priorities, just because in 2019 that's mm -hmm. what the road agent thinks are the priorities. He's not going to say, well, you know, we could probably get away another year without X, but we really need yep. Y now. We yep. need A instead of B. Maybe. I would suggest that after the vote, according to whatever happens, that we update the spreadsheet again so mm -hmm. that as we yes. head into the budget cycle mm -hmm. for the following year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. So. I'll make, I'll make a motion that we accept the, the working document um, proposed. Today. I'll second it. Okay. The motion is to to accept the proposed uh, capital project 2019-2028 document as revised, recently revised. Mr. England. All those in place on the town website. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Document and report too, so that it's handy to have. Um, yeah. Yes. I need to. It, um, yeah. Revise it in a way that you can actually read it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem. I agree yeah, with you 100%, yeah. yeah. but no. so only if it's legible. So but maybe people I can see it. I mean, that's the thing. It's not, um, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's going to be well, another one. Well, it's looking at the, trust like, look fund, at the, the trust fund one. That's the school. So one. here's the, the school district fiscal oh, year. 2018 2019 for the staff. I mean, I can certainly do that really tiny. You like can, that. but I mean, I. I <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, I have got my glasses on. What, what are all those? What is the black box? It's in benefits. I can't show you benefits. So it must be yeah. redacted. But yeah. I'm not even talking about what the content is. It's just so darn small. Yeah. Yeah, right? I know. It becomes pointless almost. But. You can have loose track of it too when it's not, you know, it's different. It should be on the top. I think it's helpful. I think, you know, I it really it should be in there. But we can do, yeah. make it as much as we so, oh, so the next thing, are we all set with the CIP? Yeah. So the next thing we have on the agenda is the unsanctioned use of the town seal. Mm -hmm. It was brought to our attention um, that uh, there's a Facebook page apparently uh, called. Uh, what was it called? That's what it was. It was like for Common New Hampshire Community or something. It had the town seal on it, so folks were reaching out to, to Caroline saying, well, this is the official town oh. Facebook page because they were confused. 
And um, when I spoke with Caroline, so she mentioned that it's going to be on the agenda tonight. I asked her what it was about. She told me I apparently belong to this page. Well, I belong to all of them, I guess. Curious. And um, so I just sent a message to the person saying, hey, you know, there's some confusion. You know, I'm not saying you've done anything wrong, but would you consider changing your picture, your profile picture? And the person said, I don't even know who owns it or who runs it. I never even asked. I said, of course, sorry, we don't mean to confuse oh, anybody. That's them. And now they've got some poll. I've got an update. They're doing some poll as to say, to those of us that belong, I guess, um, what picture do you like best? And, they're gonna, and they said, yeah, we, 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 we were maybe causing some confusion. I can tell you what it says. Anyway, they, they did it anyway. They took it down. So it's really a moot point now, but that's what was on the, I figured before the town, the, the heavy hand of the town, whatever, said, you know, we had to take this down. I belong to it. I should probably just ask them. And they did it, so. If I overstepped, I apologize. Wonderful. No. So that's been solved. One problem solved, I guess. But anyways, I didn't even, when I looked at it, I don't look at these things that was official anything. So, yeah. but still, some people are confused. You know, so. we, we don't have an official. We do. No. Oh, we do. We have an official Facebook page. All it is, mm. is it's, um, well, let me see. We did. Let me. Let's see. It's still I'm there. Not part of it. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. It's um, everything that we asked Tia to push out on um, online for us. I think it's it's just called Rollins Road Public and Government Service. No, Town of Rollins Road. Oh. Oh, I don't have that. There's a different one that's just wrong. There, there are several. Oh, yes, I see. Well, Rollinsford is uh, Peter B. Show, and he just posts pictures, like historical pictures. Oh, okay. So. I see. That. I have out of that one. I don't know. If you want, you want to know. I think he did. See, and he cross posts everything on his personal pages on that one. I'm assuming everyone doesn't know. But we'll sleep apparently. So, yeah, so it's sort of the official blah, blah Facebook page. It's not. Um, so, anything, anytime we. Um, we put something out via the town uh, email service, like there's this. So what's it called? It's town called Town of Rollinsford. Huh? And the first post on there is from 2015. It stays always at the top. Thank you for your interest in the Town of Rollinsford. Please note that this page serves as a bulletin board for notices and announcements issued by the town, but that comments or questions posted here will not be addressed by the select board. If you wish to contact the board directly, please email the select board to the, and tell them what our meetings are. Yeah. Because we didn't realize that this had been set up this in 2015. Someone was asking us questions on it and, you know, to, to abide by the right to know law and all that mm -hmm. and be responsive. We didn't even know. <laughs> we didn't know we had to be responsive because we didn't even know people were asking us questions on something we didn't know existed. So, mm -hmm. um, Jody and um, uh, Suzanne and I said, well, talk to T and said, well, we should post for our affairs and probably mostly Suzanne because she was our technical guru. But, um, that we're not responding, we don't monitor this, and, and it's, we asked him just to make sure it was um, notices. Like, the first thing is a garden for wildlife, natural landscaping for a better backyard, something at the library through the Conservation Commission mm -hmm. on March 6th, so 6.30. Sounds interesting. I'm interesting. <laughs> so it's stuff like that. It's nothing, there's no, should be no debates or arguments or whatever, it's just whatever it is. Filing period is whatever for a school district opens this day, and town opens this day, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's not, so we do have one. But, when you put in raw insert, you get one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen wow. different things that pop up. So I get it, it could be confusing for people. Great. I mean, I, some of them have absolutely nothing to do with the town. Some of them are, are like the historical committee has one. Um, highway. Uh, the highway department has one. The garden club. The garden club. The police department. The police department. Those yeah, are right. town sanctioned <coughs> groups and we're given permission by the, and the fire department. We're given permission by the select board to have them and they're monitored by employees or volunteers uh, that are sanctioned by the town. All these other things are just whatever community activity groups, and there's nothing wrong with that either. But because it said wrongs for New Hampshire community, folks were thinking that was the official town one and had the town seal. So, anyways, people got confused. They were calling Caroline asking about things. 
And it wasn't ours, so we were opposed to it. So anyways, whoever runs it, thank you if you're watching. If you took it down, I guess. So, so that's that. It was a longer conversation we probably had to have on it, but anyway, so that's what it is. The policy review, the welfare rolls. I need to share that with the board. Okay. Apologies, I haven't yet. So I'm going to table it for tonight then. That's fine. So we don't have it to talk about. So, town administration, board member activities and updates. What's everyone got going on this week? Um, I need to write the report for the traffic highway safety. Traffic safety. Have, no. have they um, decided whether or not you're all going to have a meeting to talk about? Um, that's so. I sent Bob a, a lengthy email, and yeah. that was sort of the only thing that didn't um, get worked out. And so I need to Back. Yeah. Um, we also might want to wait until after we, because um, there are, so uh, it, it was Kevin Heard was on it. I don't know if there's usually a member from the fire department. Yes. Okay. So we need to appoint someone. And I have alerted the fire department that um, also on joint loss, there's typically a fire representative. Kevin and so they're thinking about how to handle those things. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it might be best to wait until we have a full committee, not to not to kick the can down the road, but um, it's only a few weeks of town meeting, right? So yeah. Town election, draw. So we make those appointments after the after the town election. Usually, the the meeting after we start making those appointments. So I don't think I have anything this week. I had a we had a long <coughs> discussion with rec committee oh, um, yeah. last week. We had. Um, the rec director from Elliott come and talk to us, and uh, very informative. They have a wonderful program and pretty much self-sustaining, which is really nice because they do a lot of um, they do pre and post care after school. Oh wow, really? Yeah. It's like what Fun Time does, they do they it. They do it through yeah, the rec department. Yeah, they have oh, wow. four um, four staff members. They have their own vehicle. And is that is that any of it subsidized by the town, or is it all? Very the fees. only thing that they subsidize is um, supplies. Wow. That's it. Yeah, it's amazing. But it's been going on for a long time. So right, it, it just created overnight, for sure. And they get, sure. And they get, grant, they get a grant from um, uh, York Hospital um, for community organizations who get grants. So we're going to look into... Um, to what, to hire staff? Or, uh, uh, or just to apply to the program. I mean, to... to for anything. To, to, yeah, oh, wow. yeah. So we're going to look into see what huh. Douglas owns. Our office, anything like that. Um, Especially like in lieu of taxes or something. Yeah. <laughs> right? Aren't there? Aren't we always trying to figure out what we can do? Oh, I'm serious. So yeah. we have the um, parking, garage. parking garage, right? That mm -hmm. um, we can either charge taxes on, or what we were trying to t tax them might be because it's. Well, we we can't tax them because they're a nonprofit, and they have to mm -hmm. fill out a form every year that right. says they're a nonprofit, and so they're not taxable. Mm -hmm. Most of their property is in Dover. Mm -hmm. They have a pilot agreement with Dover. They do not have a pilot agreement with us. They just don't pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Ours, of course, is just mm -hmm. the parking garage, um, but there's the you know. The tax collector makes a good point that the parking garage is an enterprise separate from the hospital itself, which may not qualify. They don't, have, they don't charge to park there. But they don't charge to park there. So, so that's why kind of it's still, it, yeah. exactly. But yeah, otherwise, well, forget you know, that. Maybe it could be. Can't do, but maybe. Um, but it's, it's a worthwhile conversation that they contribute to Dover, mm -hmm. and while their property in Rollinsford is significantly less than that, mm -hmm. they could still, by all means, do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna. And this is a great example of that. Yeah. 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 That, I mean, it's something to think about. That. Could yeah. Be a, a so um, yeah, we're getting we're getting going. We're getting on. We, we um went over the job descriptions and uh, they they talked to UNH to try to get a uh, intern oh, nice. to be the director and assistant director. Nice. And you pay him a stipend versus hourly. Awesome. So um, Interesting. kind of encouraged by that because they had talked to the person who runs. The the program for this, and um, thought that it would be a good uh, situation. Wow. So we're working on that, and uh, so yeah, I mean we're we're doing okay. We're, I mean, one of the one of the things was confusion, um, and um, I'm surprised Celia is not here, but um, we didn't have the understanding that um, senior the senior line with the three hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, 
if the expectation is that we have to be subfunding as well on that one, as well as winter rec. Um, we know that rec, you know, um, we're trying to be revenue neutral and making sure that we can bring in as much money to cover all the expenses. But it, they asked me the question about senior, and they asked me a question about winter. And they asked me about Salmon Falls Family Fund Day. That is a donation for fireworks. That is not expected to be. It's always been my understanding. It's just falling under rack, that's all. So, um, yeah. what, is, what is your opinion about that? I mean, I talked to Caroline, and it kind of was like, if you can, you can. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it popped in my head. If, yeah. if it makes sense that yeah. you organize a trip to go to Bingo, or, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, they were talking about possibly having a dinner, you know, trying to subsidize a um, dinner for the seniors. Right. Um, and then if, if, if um, either do it for, for free or um, charge a very small um, uh, fee, like a whatever, a dollar or whatever. Um, but then that money has to be turned back into the town, so you can't do it again. Do you see what I'm saying? So if you... If you um, All right. You know, you're trying, we're trying to keep the budget down, yeah. but then, you know, when you try to do something, and of course that's what we had talked about with the warrant, the to yeah. create the fund, and then the money could go into there and after the, it. yeah. I, but that's not this year, that's going to be going forward. Yeah. The, um, the summer rec program is a much larger Oh, budget, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which requires staff. Mm-hmm. Sure. Well, I guess we'll cover into the town's liability, but like staff, equipment, mm -hmm. buses. I mean, there's a lot of logistics that go into running a, mm -hmm. a program like that for how many weeks is it? Is it eight it's weeks or eight weeks. the summer? Yeah. Versus a dinner or maybe two dinners a mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. um, I think eventually we probably want it to be self I mean, this is just me speaking, mm -hmm. uh, self sufficient. But I mean, in in the in the winter one, I think they get ahead of themselves. I want both of them to be honest with you. The the summer rec was an existing program mm -hmm. that was just going to go away, and there were a bunch of parents that were mm -hmm. very concerned about that because for a number of reasons. I don't know the sign motives why they were concerned, not concerned. But and so they were recreating a program that was already existing. Mm -hmm. And I think they've done a fine job at it. There is no winter rec. Well, no, the you know, winter there is no senior rec. So I mean, it's not like they're just they've inherited this big program that they need to recreate. And no, but what winter rec was is the ice rink. Right. No, and that they I had a, they had a lot of um, comments on yeah. the survey that went out. Mm -hmm. Why aren't we People doing the ice rink? They want it back. Because it okay. keeps getting up to 50 degrees. Well, that's well, one that way, but it also, the liner got destroyed. destroyed right. oh, so, okay. the, and that's about a grand. So, I asked um, right. I asked George if, in the off-season, if there's a place that could be it's stored at the right highway, there. and he said we could find a place I bet to put that it. that new Cause it's loft outdoor. they built, I mean, they yeah. could probably roll up and put it up So, there. we have a possibility of that, but that's like $1,000, right. which we don't have any money, and, right. and you can't charge because it's not something that you monitor, we don't have all those kind of things. That. So, that's what that would be, and they used a little bit of basketball. Um, to go into tournaments. Um, well, what do we have budgeted for yeah. winter right now? Don't we have? I think it's 1100 isn't it? So yeah. there is money there. There is money. To buy a new liner, they could do that. I but mean, it's also, it shares, it's shared with basketball, and bas basketball does have expenses for tournament, tournament registrations and referees. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not just for winter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... We have no, we don't have an approved budget yet, so it's kind of a moot point. It's going to be for next year at this point, anyway. Probably the, the, the rank. I mean, the well, the, um, be, the, the it, rank. Well, it would be for nineteen if we can. For, Boy, for winter starts in December. So you yeah, yeah, get yeah, it yeah, yeah. Order. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, so nineteen next, next winter. Yeah, for, yeah. Yeah. Not this winter no, season. No, no, not right now. No, 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 no. No, but I have to believe that between. March when does basketball end? I don't know. Around March. March. Yeah, it's just starting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So between March or whatever this year, March, or does say April mm -hmm. of this year, and December of this year, mm -hmm. 
the select board will probably be able to find somewhere in the budget mm -hmm. the X amount of dollars that is spent on basketball, which is not that much, well, to make up the difference, to buy a tarp or wherever the liner is, so that the kids and, and adults that want to can mm -hmm. go ice skating. Mm -hmm. I well, think I we could probably handle that. Well, I was surprised by the amount of people that had mentioned it. Oh, really? I really was. Um, and if there's a plan going forward as to where it's actually going to be stored, because it wasn't the... Right. The, the plan of it that was put in place before, I guess, wasn't the best plan, obviously, mm -hmm. because the tarp didn't, or the, the liner didn't survive. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's something that but we can the, think the about. the senior program, I mean, there isn't a program. No. So in my mind, eventually would it be nice if it could be self-sufficient? Of course. Mm -hmm. If it's going to cost, I don't know, what would we pay? $500 for for the fireworks, right? We give that yeah, as, as a donation, donation. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a token of our appreciation and wanting to do something nice for people in town. I mean, a sense of enjoyment, right, mm -hmm. for, for people in town. I think we could probably find 500 bucks. I don't know how many spaghetti dinners you could put on for that. Yeah, yeah. At the, at the, at the Legion for, yeah. for seniors. I don't even think you have to charge them a buck if to get the program started. If there's no interest, then you don't keep having the dinners. Right, right. So, I mean, I know it sounds, there are going to be people who say, well, you're, you know, you make sure the kids have to pay, you know. And, but it was an existing program mm -hmm. in my mind, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and it costs a heck of a lot more than, I mean, so a thousand, not even a thousand dollars for the money you need to make up for the liner, because it's already at the eleven hundred, and a couple hundred dollars for a dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't even come close to a portion of one salary for one of the, you know, mm -hmm. the people working at that. So, in one board member's opinion that if they, if there's interest in doing either of those things, I think if they brought a plan. I'm, modest plan to us, mm -hmm. we could probably figure out a way to make it work. But yep. If they want to have a full-blown senior rec center somewhere in town, they might need to start a capital plan. Yeah, yeah. No, I, was, I think it's just baby steps, you know, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I understood what the expectation was as well, because I, I thought it was only the big summer rec program. Was because, it was so big, because it was right? so big. Because it was so big, absolutely. Yeah. So. All right, but that, that's what we talked about, and things are going forward and going well, and uh, I guess they're going to maintain Sports Engine. Dee found out a lot more. No, but found another uh, place to go in it, and has wonderful programming, uh, and gives you financial reports, and talk to Dee. I'll have Dee talk to you. So yes. the online yes. payment thing? Yeah, because it really helps because they can use credit cards online, and they can, do, part, and they can do payments and stuff, so it's oh, good okay. for the people who are yeah. going into the program. But... Um, they didn't like Sports Engine previously, but he went on herself and found out that either it's improved or but there's, a, there's some financial uh, reporting that can be done that was the hardest part of all was the financial reporting because it was lacking big time. But it's so, there now. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like so she's, in, she's in favorite for it, so I'll have her talk to you. I will. All so, right. Alrighty. So that's all I have. I think I'm supposed to have a regional planning meeting on Friday, but I'm not sure if I can go to the whole thing, so. Um, now our, you wanted me to pick up those planning books. Yeah, right? if you could, and that reminds me that I didn't get the building for this folder, even though I don't think there's anything I have a in. meeting in concrete at 11. I have to be at, in the... If you can't make it, it's okay, and we can make a different arrangements for getting the books. I just wanted to... Check well, I mean, you. the SRPC meeting goes from 9 to 10.30, so... Go for part of it. I couldn't stay the, I, 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 that's fast, important. but I can't make it to Congress in half an hour. Not that fast. Even when I take the town helicopter. <laughs> Our sleepers are about the front of me. Yeah. Okay, and what else do I have? I think that was it for this week. I guess I gotta come in and sign some things this week, but whenever they're ready. But uh, that's it. All right, so building, what do I need to do correspondence first? And we'll really not, uh, front of me because I'm not There's nothing in the building permit for me. So we've got the invoice for the NRRA, which is the Northeast Resource Recovery Association. This is the uh, organization that we um, okay. utilize quite frequently now. Um, we send uh, add over quite a bit on recycling. So this is our invoice for the year, and we have we budgeted. Yes, and so I've.
paid it, and it's in the bill folder. But I also included it because it's their annual report. report and you know, anyone want to see the annual report? On recycling? You want me to recycle it? No, it's on recycling. And when you're finished with it, I'll pass it on to George about it. I just didn't know if you could go on my class. I just to see it too. No, good. Okay. Our other item here is um, from PREP, which is the Statico Region Estuaries Partnership. That may be interesting to the stormwater, stormwater committee. Maybe. That's what I was thinking. I think you should hand it over to them. I will. Um, just passing it along as well in case anybody wants to have a look before I do that. Prep? Estuaries? Estuaries? Stormwater? All right. We have um, a letter for me to sign. Um, a letter, a compliance letter going out to 29 Pine Street. Regarding renovations they're doing, I guess? That they have done. They have yes. done? Because that's the specific. They didn't get a permit? No permit. I don't even know. I'm trying to think which house they did. It's the, it's the old um, Credo House. Right on the, the one by, right there. Oh, the one that's for sale? Yeah. They didn't get any permits for that? Oh, totally renovated. Yeah, completely renovated. Well, we should probably send this off then. Any objection to me signing this letter? No. Okay then. I was going to say, why does that address seem familiar? That's right, I looked at that list in the email. David did too. Okay, so I will give you all, I'll give you each one. How's that? There's two building uh, purchase, purchase orders. Purchase orders. Purchase orders. That is um, an offer from a company that wants to put up a cell tower either on Scotland or in the vicinity of Main Street on town-owned land. They oh, yeah? will lease the land. Yeah. To my mind, there isn't any applicable, available town land. It certainly cannot be in Scotland. It's Conservation not, area. Yeah. Right. Um, so it's a point of information. I think it's a non-starter. I really don't want to pay much either, do they? No. Less than an apartment. I mean, like half of what a one bedroom apartment would cost in town per month is what they want to pay to operate a, a very small, a very a, a, a tower that they will make oodles of money off of in our town. For they want they want to pay six hundred fifty dollars a month for this magical lot that may or may not exist. And the average one bedroom apartment goes for what like. Twelve hundred dollars, something like crazy, mm -hmm. like that. Eleven hundred dollars. It's other nuts it's like up, that. It's right? up there, yeah. yeah. Well, we could take it under advisement. Did, have they identified a lot, or they're just asking? No, no. It's <laughs> Scotland or something on Main Street. Can, it, can, we, can we do it? Don't we have a tower that we already signed for? Which doesn't mean I. You, you know, may have multiple. Sure. Uh, I would I would consult legal counsel with that because I'm not sure that you would want right. to have competing towers. Mm -hmm. sure, but we're on Main Street. And, we know, what, what about in the, the tower in this building? Yeah. On the top of Town Hall. Oh, yeah, like, put it in the. <laughs> sure. Well. <laughs> sure. I, I, they've done it in other buildings, um, but. Well, would you like to talk to? <laughs> oh, I'd love to have a cell phone. You should talk to Raymond Lemley from, he's a site acquisition specialist down in New Jersey. And you can have a call his cell phones in New Jersey, but he's in West Bridgewater, Mass. You want to talk to him? Do fill us in. You did well with the other company. Have at it. Yeah, exactly. A hundred feet by a hundred feet is, yeah. Rumford, Rumford East. Okay. Well, sure. So we got two purchase orders to deal with. Yeah. Who wants to go first? I will move purchase order fifteen seventy one to Amazon uh, for two hundred fifty dollars for a Canon VX camcorder. I, I can't read. That's so what's wrong with the one that's over here? Um, the power cord doesn't work anymore, so you can't charge it or plug it in and have power going to it. I believe the problem is the internal port in the camera rather than the power cord. Um, Sally's going to test that. Um, 
with our volunteer camera people. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. To see if the cord actually works. Um, but it, but it, 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 the cord People appears wiggle. fine, but you put it in there and it wiggles around a lot and falls out. Uh, so, so does it not? So no Mine does the same yeah. thing. But this, there's no power in it. Alright, so before you check it, you wouldn't buy one. Now it's not well, we certainly, I mean, if you approved that, we certainly wouldn't buy one. Um, if we, if What's we, the purchasing policy? How much can you, why don't we just do this on the, on the credit card? Um, Isn't it up to two fifty? Two hundred dollars oh, qualifies for a purchase order. Um, if I have, Five, if I'm working with dollars. another department head, I can put up to fourteen four hundred dollars on a credit card. But by myself, um, oh, or anybody can only do two hundred dollars. Okay. Up to. All right, so even if we approve this and we find out that it works in the other camera, we would not buy a second camera if we didn't need another camera. Right. Do you want to vote on this now? You've already, you do the second of it. Okay, so purchase order 1571 has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Any discussion? All right. All those in favor say aye. All right. All right. What else do we got? Oh, yeah. I have purchase order 1581 to Jeanette Gagning for minutes at the delivery session for $200. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Second. <laughs> <laughs> I see that, please. Can I ask a question? Now, hold on. Uh, purchase order 1581 has been moved and seconded. It's open for discussion. Why do we need to pay someone else to do it? So this has gone on for um, three or four years now. The town clerk, um, so so the deliberative session now, she's doing the meetings for that meeting rather than the Saturday town meeting. Um, she feels as though it takes two people to hear what's going on, identify people, and it's too much for one person to pay attention to what's going on and keep notes at the same time. So flat rate of $200? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I think it's it hourly. It, it used hourly. to be less than that, and it didn't used to qualify for a purchase order, though it's been a budgeted expense. Um, but now it's two hours and forty-five minutes for for the meeting, and then uh, and then transcript, and then five and a quarter hours of typing slash oh, editing. Okay. So all together, you're looking at uh, eight hours and uh, okay. eight hours and a quarter. Now, eight hours total. $40. $25. 25 right. It's budgeted, right? We budget for this? It, it is budgeted. budgeted. Um, that's a good I asked a question. I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. No, no, I asked her quietly. Um, does the town clerk get paid as well by sitting there? So, um, town meeting is considered one election. So she gets one election stipend for both parts of town meeting. So this is the first session of town meeting. The second one is March 12th. For both of them combined, she'll receive a $200 stipend. Any other discussion? Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. All right. Well, she already did it. Well, this is something that to keep in mind for um, budget season, budget season yep. for 2020, I'm trying to think what year we're coming up to. Yep. Um, if folks object, it's certainly be the time to bring it up again. In the, I don't see anything else in the board. Yeah, yeah, there's so many things in the budget that said that that was for. Somebody clearly copy say the that? budget, and, and in fact, Mike, in your town report um, in the budget, there is, um, it doesn't say specifically that it's or for whatever, but it says, um, it says something. Tell me. Give me a second. It says something. And it's got something about two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars in it. No, next page. Executive financial. Town clerk election stipend. 
ballot clerk's wages, payroll taxes, programming the ballots, then it says town meeting. That, it's the town meeting line. $200. And it says recording, recording secretaries, child care. child care. And it's usually the, the teachers, typically, or the school nurse volunteers <coughs> to do it. Um, they didn't last year. Um, we had tr more trouble last uh, the last couple of years, which is why that note got added. Mm -hmm. But the primary, the, the larger expense in that line was the minute taker. So it is there, it is line 35 in the 2018 budget. I don't know what it is for 2019, but it is there. Oh, so. number 19 having good child care. But it might still say. I didn't know two people were being paid, is kind of my point. But, but I do now. It is something I raised uh, before you got here, and I was on the losing end. Mm -hmm. So I have. Uh, Licked my wounds and moved on, and I've passed the torch to you, to Denise. <laughs> <laughs> um, Every year is a new year. Every, Every year is a new year. year. It's like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Um, checks have been signed. Yep. No building permits? No, no. building permits. That's it. Community input. I'm waiting for the great reveal of the power cord. <laughs> I may not stay for it, but you'll let me know how it works out. No comments? We're going to go home and we're going to adjourn that 822. Oh, I do have something to say, but I guess not. I'm you, I usually sing in my high falsetto.